Welcome back. Now, President Kufuado has assured ministers appointed will not disappoint, but work hard to fix the challenges confronting the country. Announcing the second batch of ministers in Accra, the president called for support. Twelve ministerial positions with three new portfolios were announced by President Ekufuado. Former Deputy Finance Minister Dr. Kotosai took one of the new ministerial portfolios, the Monitoring and Evaluation Ministry. With MP4 Kre, Dan Boche named Minister Designate for Regional Reorganization and Development. MP4 Sikadu Ketan Joe Gate heads to the Railways Development Ministry. The rest are Minister for Roads and Highways, Kwesia Mwakwata, with former Energy Minister Kufiada going to Sanitation and Water Resources. Samuel Atachia is now Minister Designate for Works and Housing, with John Peter Meu as Minister Designate for Lands and Natural Resources. MP for Ablekuma West, Esla Ekufo, is Communications Minister Designate, with Women's Organizer of the NPP, Afisa Tiko Jaba, going to the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection. Ignatius Bafuiwa goes to the Employment and Labor Relations with Kweko Furisiyama for Transport. Renowned Ghanaian surgeon Dr. Kwabna Frimpon Boating as Minister Designate for Environment, Science, Technology and Evaluation. President Ekofado assured the appointees are determined to deliver. They have to be reassured that they are getting people who are coming to do a good job for them. And a good job with honesty, with passion, integrity and with commitment. I believe you're going to see that in the government that we're making. And the individuals that are, being, are emerging one by one fit the bill. Right. Uh, now, President Akufuado on Tuesday announced that the Ministry of Petroleum and the Ministry of Power has been merged into one, the Ministry of Energy. He also named Bwachi Ejako as the nominee for Minister of Energy. Let's uh, get an understanding of uh, the task ahead for uh, the nominee Kweju and Safwa uh, uh, Puku is joining us. Uh, Mr. Puku, uh, good evening and uh, thank you for joining us on Skype. Hey, good evening, Stephen. You just say I'm a nominee. I'm not a nominee of I beg your pardon. I know. I wish you were, though. <laughs> but on a serious <laughs> note, uh, Boatie Jaco is... Uh, has been nominated for the Ministry of Energy. I know you've been talking about uh, the power situation, how to get it normalized, and we've gone through all the crisis of uh, fuel price increases, and, and all of these things are having uh, an, a dire effect on the economy, to be honest. Uh, so as Boache Jaco comes in, what are your expectations? And do you think he has what it takes to deliver on those expectations you have? Well, um, the ministry, um, what the ministry is lacking is planning. And any minister that comes into the ministry with focus and planning should be able to do the work. In the past, you realize that a minister will come in and will be work as usual, concentrating on maybe the uh, petroleum sector, and other stuff without any emphasis on power mm. uh, generation capacity and fuel then along the line maybe a year or two into the administration you realize that we would have power crisis then there's an ad hoc approach to try and fix with bringing in emergency power this is the first time that a minister is coming into the portfolio where he has an oversight, an overview of all the problems that could happen or is happening. With that in mind, I think that he would have to come on with a lot of energy and a lot of focus and a lot of um, listening, listening power. If he listens to the technocrats and listen to all the advice that is given to him, I'm sure he will do well. He has worked, uh, according to his CV, worked with some major companies in the diaspora. And uh, we sort of um, experienced, not necessarily in the energy sector, but experience of um, leadership and experience mm -hmm. in 
performing in big organizations, which is what you need in the energy sector, I'm sure he can do well. Mr. Pogu, let's, let me step back a bit uh, and first ask you, of all the narrati narratives you've given us, are you satisfied with the merger of the Petroleum uh, Ministry and Power Ministry to form the new energy ministry? Well, I would have wanted it otherwise. I would have wanted that it stayed separated. Um, I have been an advocate for a power ministry and a power minister even becoming a cabinet minister. Uh, the reason being that I think that the power ministry has outgrown it being merged with petroleum. Mm. But if you listen to His Excellency the President, he has a plan. And his plan is that he thinks that the minister, which is um, Honorable a Jacon minister designate would have a best eye view and he feels that the, the petroleum and power interchange or interlock at a point because of that there will be two deputy ministers who would be either petroleum and power to do the legwork and all feed into the grand plan of what the minister has uh, we can only wish well and be able to give the advice and prayers that it will work but in my opinion, I have been advocating for the separation to stay as it is. But you can only wish that with the new formula or with the new energy that the new team is coming on, we can only step back and see how best that will work. But you, do, you don't think uh, the merger is deficient nonetheless? Do you still think that uh, as, as, as merged, as it is merged, it will still uh, be functional to deliver the outcomes you want to see in the past power and energy sectors? Well, it, it, what I'm saying is that a new team would come with a new set of um, approach. Mm. The approach that His Excellency the President wants is that let's have one man who has a best eye view of both sectors, and we have two deputies assisting him. We've had that in the past. But you see, energy started off with energy and mines, then became just energy, and the mines were taken away. Now, I feel that if you go to the ministry, the ministry is overcrowded, okay? I would have thought that leaving it the way it is and elevating the power minister to even a cabinet minister would have given more input and more focus in the power sector to address the problem. We saw what Honorable Donko did in one year and how busy he was to resolve the problem. Like I said, if a new man is coming to the position and he is coming with a lot of vigor, a lot of focus, and a lot of new ideas, and he feels that if it's merged, he can tackle it. We can only wish him well. But I will not preempt to say that if it's merged, it will not work. Because right. the other question also will be, when it was separated, it wasn't resolved completely. So both ways have not really solved the problem. Right. But like I said, going forward, we can only wish that it's being merged. The team that will be assembled, the minister, the advisors that will advise him, and the deputies that will come on board, and the civil servants, will be a team that will have the vigor to resolve the problems that we have. Right, right. Uh, Mr. Kojopoku, thanks very much uh, for your time. Uh, let's move